Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at Dr. Fate. We're going to be looking at his powers. <clears throat> he is flight. And he uses hand blasters. With his little glyphs in there. But otherwise it's just the standard. Uh, just the standard hand blasters really. Right, so let's get to his powers. Terrarium control mode enabled. Uh, his first power is Fateful Blast. Shoots a brief blast of magical energy that damages and stuns your opponent. So it's basically just a single target move. Uh, and it's kind of a, a ranged one as well, so you don't have to be right up close. Like that. Just knocks the uh, target off their feet. But just bear in mind it's only only single target. And the cooldown isn't that fast. Okay. Let's have a look at the next power. Cleansing Blast. Creates an explosion at your feet, damaging all nearby opponents. So this is going to be obviously a melee ranged attack. So you're going to have to get in close. And it's just basically a bit like some of the other uh, characters. Mostly sort of like the Kryptonian characters have like a kind of like a foot stomp kind of thing or some sort of thing like that. That sort of just damages and knocks down enemies around them. It's sort of similar to that. It just stuns them in place, as you can see. Harley's stunned there. It'll probably work a bit better in the um, Legends PVE. So obviously, the, this, but all these powers that I'm showing you work both in Legends PVP and in the uh, PVE alerts. Uh, the next power is Circle of Judgment. Places a Circle of Judgment on the ground, lowering defense capabil capabilities of all nearby opponents. But as you can see, it's also doing some damage there. Not massive, massive amounts of damage, but anything that's within that, them pillars there. So let's just look at that power again. Places a circle of judgment on the ground, lowering defensive capabilities of all nearby enemies. So let's just have one more go of that power. Yeah, so if you look there, uh, you've got the. Um, let's see if it's in there. It's not in there. But if you look underneath Stargirl there, she's got. Um, she's been like debuffed in some sort of way. It's to to a uh, damage. But I think it's supposed to be defensive. I'm not quite sure. Meet your Let's just quickly see if we can see it in there. Nothing in there. Can't see anything in here either. Let's just try that one more time. Not sure. Should be a sh I would have thought the shield would come up red if it was the defensive. Let's just look on Stargirl. She's got. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It looks like the the uh, like been debuffed like with the attack damage, but. Um, anyway, let's get on to the next power. And the next one is uh, Displacer Orbs. Places a mark on your target, uh, on your opponent, to be targeted by Displacer Orbs, which knock down and stun the target. So as you can see, just like little little balls will come, um, and it doesn't matter if they move away. It will just follow them. 
So in PvP, it's pretty pretty useful because they'll be wanting to move away, but obviously they'll still be getting hit by these because even if they move, it follows them. They've been targeted. So let's try and show. See, like if we move Harley there, she was actually still getting. She was still getting hit. So it's really useful for the uh, PvP. Um, may, maybe a little bit for the PvE as well, for, for like the uh, sort of boss boss battles and stuff. Like, you know, sometimes you with some some characters you're putting down a, a move on the floor, and um, you know uh, they kind of move out of it, and it's a bit frustrating. But with that, it doesn't matter if they move away because they still get hit anyway. So let's have a look at the next power: Summon Sentinel of Punishment. Summons a Sentinel of Punishment punishment to aid you. Offering increased offensive statistics and abilities. So this one offers increased offensive statistics and abilities. So let's have a look at what the damage he's doing. I mean, it's not going to be massive, massive amount of damage, but. Um, you know, in PvP, if it's a one-on-one -on -one fight and you've got one of these, it kind of helps a little bit because it kind of distracts the the uh, opponent a little bit and they start going after the uh, pet while you can sort of get away and sort of do a little bit of damage or escape or whatever you want to do. But it kind of almost makes it two-on-one. I mean, they, they haven't got a lot of health, but... Um, I mean... As you can see, it's not really doing a whole lot of damage, but... And let's have a look at how quick they die. I mean, they haven't got a whole lot of health at all. So they're not gonna not gonna be able to tango or anything like that. But um, it just helps, like, just a little distraction, even if it's only for the one or two seconds. As you know, sometimes in... In PvP, when it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, it can be very, very close, and you can both get right down to just a small bit of health. And just that one or two seconds that kind of might distract the opponent might be the difference between you, you like knocking them out or them knocking you out. So um, that's that one. There's also another. The last power is also another pet, um, which is Sentinel of Justice. Uh, summons a Sentinel of Justice to aid you, offering increased defensive statistics and abilities so the first one um, offered um, increased offensive statistics and abilities and the other one uh, the second one is like defensive so if we look at if we do that one and I don't know if it's going to be in there no it's not going to be in there but somehow this help this one offers more of a, a, an attacking more offensive kind of abilities and stats, but I'm not I'm not really sure how that quite works because I got nothing coming up underneath my name like any buff or anything. So I'm not sure how um, that really works. It doesn't really say, it doesn't really come up on there, but it does say in in the description that it, it offering increased offensive statistics and abilities. So it must be doing something, even if it's maybe just buffing the stats and it's not showing up on the. Uh, in this log or on the um, on the actual screen with like any kind of uh, green shield or or like green uh, target thing that's on there it's not coming up with those but um, maybe it's just boosting the stats slightly so your weapon damage does a bit more damage or something but um, I'm not really sure but you've got the the other one which is a defensive version which is the last power which is like the, the first one's the guy and the second one's the girl. Her damage seems to, to be a little bit lower when you look at the numbers coming off of her, but her attack seemed to be a bit faster. I don't know, maybe maybe we should test that. So I've got no green shield or anything underneath my name to show that it's um buffing my defensive stats or anything like that so maybe it's just a hidden stat like just increased my uh, toughness or something or whatever let's see so the, the damage numbers are like 13s 14s and stuff so let's see what it is with this guy I'm sure it was uh, higher than that 
Yeah, his is like 47, 26, 34, 15, 17. Seems slightly higher. Not a whole lot higher. Sometimes it is quite a bit higher, but it, otherwise it's like 16s and 17s and stuff, so it's not a great big deal. Uh, let's bring back the, the other one, and let's just see how quick... Um oh, there you go. So now she's actually now she's actually done something there, if you see. Um, let's just see how easy she is to um, take out. Still not a whole lot of health, so it's not going to be very good for for tanking or anything like that. But like I said to you before, it's only really going to help like just to get that edge maybe even even if it's only a couple of seconds or one second I mean one second can be big difference in, in PvP when it's one on one and it might help quite a bit with the uh, PvE stuff because the, the enemies aren't going to kill um, your pets that quick um, it might it, it, they're not going to have massive amount of uh, being able to survive massive amounts of hits and stuff but um, they should last a bit longer than they do in PvP I've used them quite a bit. If you if you see my other video with the Area 51, I was using Dr. Fate, and he was doing. He had the pets up, and they were sometimes dying, but they were they were surviving quite a bit. So let's see if he increases my stats now, because in the uh, Area 51, he was never doing anything. Uh, neither of them were ever doing anything like the uh, the other one was there, where she did something, and I had the uh, green shield underneath. Um, I never had anything like that, but that was probably because like they were always fighting. Maybe it's when you're waiting around then all of a sudden it buffs, I don't know, it's a bit, happens sometimes, doesn't always happen, so nothing, it's nothing's happening there, see now she's buffed my thing, see I've got the little glyph thing above me, and I've got the, um, the green shield, let's see if he does the same, doesn't seem to do it, Let's read that one last time. Offering increased offensive statistics and abilities. Offering. See, they say exactly the same thing, but one's defensive, one of one's offensive. So they should really do exactly the same thing, but I don't know. Maybe he's one. He doesn't actually buff or something. I'm not sure. See, she always does it at the very beginning. As soon as she comes out, but he doesn't. He doesn't do anything. So maybe he's one's just that he does increase damage from, from his end, like as a as a pet compared to the other one. And there's maybe some other hidden stat. But um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um, I hope this video helped a little bit. I know uh, some people get a little bit confused with the uh, with the two different pets and that, and wondering what they do. Um, and the the uh, circle that goes up that that power there, what it actually does, and that because I think it's changed a bit since it first came out. But um, I hope this video helped, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. And see you in the uh, next video. Bye.